Every bastion of the Siegfried line today is threatened by formidable new Allied guns. Here are the first pictures of the latest British concrete buster. The Nazis have no match for this thunderous weapon. It fires a 200-pound shell and has a range of nearly 14 kilometers. This gun is described as the most damaging field piece on wheels. Another blanket of Nazi domination is being lifted, this time at Dunkirk. The Canadian Brigade Major in charge granted a 48-hour truce. He allowed 27,000 civilians to evacuate before the final onslaught. As in previous cases, the collapse of the German garrison is the next thing on the program. The civilian trek began and the people of Dunkirk got a sight of British uniforms for the first time in four years. In a sense, this humane pilgrimage is a reunion. It has been delayed for four years, but has welcomed the more for that. Nazi censorship had choked off all communication with the outside, but the people of Dunkirk did not forget their old loyalties, nor the promise of the British to come back. That promise has been fulfilled. Great Britain had learned bitter lessons from the old wreckage of defeat on Dunkirk's beaches. All she could offer four years ago was her fighting man. On him, Britain built afresh, and the Allied world built with her. Once again, these beaches will fill with holiday crowds, but they will not forget the army which came back to pick up its helmet. 